Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's get started right away. We're going to do a general reading today. What advice do you have for Aquarius, please? What does Aquarius need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Aquarius? <clears throat> okay, we will lay out the tarot here. We're going to pull a Sacred Destiny Oracle card. These have already been shuffled. I love this one. It says spring, doesn't it? Blessings, okay. Blessings coming on to you, but we'll see how that interrelates to the tarot. You've got judgment, justice, strength. This is very strong. Woo, the emperor, the devil, holy major arcana, the ace of cups, the five of swords. I'll tell you what, if there's somebody that is countering you right now, they might as well just turn tail and run. If somebody did something, whether it was slanderous or it's something legal or even it was just something that didn't go your way, it is going to be rectified. We have here five major arcana. We have Capricorn, Libra, Leo, and Aries. Now, if it's a relationship with the Ace of Cups, it's going to be love. I like this, to be honest with you. Well, like I would ever mislead you. The cards don't lie anyway, so it's not like, you know, <laughs> unless you have people that are misinterpreting the cards. But anyway... With this, I'll tell you what, with love, it's like a love that knows no bounds. And it's truly one that's built on real honesty, trust. And if you had something here, I get it this way. With this confined energy of the devil, the devil's called the ego in some decks. These coffins represent the ego. So if you were in a relationship with an ego, let's call this person the ego, and you've been released from that, I feel like you have somebody coming in and it might take you some getting used to, to be in a healthy relationship because this may have done a real number on you. I get it with this kind of a mind job, okay? Somebody here that likes to do mental games. And if it's somebody too at work, I also feel like too, this person may be leaving. I do feel like there's some damage that perhaps was done. Um, but I, I also feel like too, you can step into the solution on that. So if your coworker is this guy and they're taking a step out, they're going to be moving on. I do feel like everything's going to lighten up. All right. I just feel like whatever this was, but I feel like overall too, in this reading, they're also saying that you're going to get a better sense of yourself. So if you were trusting, if perhaps you shared information that you thought was private information, or you were just talking casually and it somehow got turned against you, I do feel like you rise to the occasion here. Okay, your judgment is going to be affected by that. And you may find, and it doesn't mean that you have to be jaded, of course, we know that. But you might find in the future that you'll say, you know what, I'm just going to be a little more reserved when I don't really know someone or I do know someone and I think they wouldn't talk about me or they wouldn't share my information. Again, I say this a lot. We sometimes get confused that our coworkers are our friends. They're coworkers, okay? There's some people there that are friends, but not all. And sometimes we even have people at work that are like family, but not this one, okay? Or maybe it is like this one. If you say, no, I've got a highly dysfunctional family, they'd fit right in. Um, but with this judgment energy, you have a tipping point. So I definitely feel like you're going to be freed up from something that was not working for you. And especially too, if it's like I said, negative talk at your workplace, I, I, I do feel like they're the one that's leaving. Now, if you are trying to get money back, like a deposit, or it's some kind of a legal matter, I do feel like you get communication here that tells you, yes, the yes is coming, the affirmative is coming. So with the justice card here, the truth will prevail. I like it when you have judgment and judge justice together because it's not only just a job well done, but it's like you get vindicated here. Okay, if something hasn't been right and it really has kind of ground your gears and you say, this is ridiculous, this is where fairness gets restored. But it's also, like I said, about weighing choices carefully. So I do feel like whatever you come out of on this, whatever this represents in your world, you're going to say there was something there along the way that perhaps you missed. And that's okay because we, we like to see the good in situations, people, places, things. You know, it's part of our divine nature. Our soul does not mistrust. Our soul trusts the other souls. It's the mind that gets in there. 
So I do feel like if you have an opportunity here, this is also encouraging you to weigh your choices carefully. And it's all about really improving to some extent choices and really looking at your worth and value as a person. Okay, so picking people that match you, that are leveled up. And I know we like to lend a helping hand. I've done it myself. But not taking on people that are so needy or we see there's so much potential, but they're not there. We got to be there. So with this strength energy here, <clears throat> in love, you do have somebody coming in. So if you say, this sounds like my ex, they're permeating this reading. How do I get them out of here? Well, here, how about this? You have somebody coming in and I do feel like they're, they've got strong character. I mean, they've got integrity. They've got charisma, compassion. I also feel like they have a heck of a great work track record. Like they'd have lots and lots of references they could get because that's who they are. People want to help them because they help in return. This is someone who is quite genuine. And it's also to someone, if you are a bit apprehensive, I do feel like they're going to be a big blessing in your life but also very understanding of where you've been. And I feel like you won't have to get into it very far. I mean, because who wants to rehash the past? But I definitely feel like with the strength energy, you're going to find that you lean into the energy of not just success, but really a deeper understanding of why things happen the way they do. Because in our own human nature, we always struggle with that, letting go of the answer to why. We always want to know why did this happen. So with the strength card, I do feel like you're going to get released from that. And with the emperor, I'll tell you what, there's this my way or the highway energy. The emperor does not mess around with the trifling devil energy when it's things like gossip and slander. The emperor is the great architect of the universe, but he's powerful and mighty. So I do feel like if there is something like that, it's going to be corrected. And I feel like you're going to be, like I said, released. You have a protective energy around you with this emperor energy. But I also feel like one thing this is going to help you with if you were betrayed in a way, and even if it happened kind of over a period of time, I do feel like with this, you're going to be able to emotionally organize, okay? He's very much uh, <clears throat> a feature of discipline and organization. So for some of you too, it may be the discipline of the mind. He has just a tiny little trickle of water. So he's very much about mind over heart kind of thinking and decisions. But that's still a reminder that you are a divine being and to meditate, to feed and nourish your soul, to quiet down all that noisy stuff so you get back into alignment with who you really are. Now, in a relationship like a love relationship, this is somebody who will, you know, make the phone calls for you that you don't want to make. You need to call your cable company. They'll offer to do it. They like to get things done. They like to see you happy. They like to see you happy, joyous, and free. I'll tell you what, he is the he's the partner to the Empress. He loves to take care of her. So I do feel like you have somebody here who is quite a contributor coming in. They are an equal, and they may even surprise you. You might even say, actually, I think they might be a little more leveled up than I am even. But with this energy, I feel like it's going to be very complimentary. And it may be a bit of an opposites attract. You may find at first you think this person is not interested in you. Um, just because they, there may be something about them that's a bit like business-like. Um, but I do feel like they're going to come, it, once they're in, they're very open and clear about it. I feel like they kind of like to, you know, tip their toe in the water a little bit, get the temperature of things. So this devil energy is also, like I said, about your own understanding of yourself. The shadow aspect, we embrace that dark side so that we understand ourselves and how did we get here. We all have those moments when we look around and say, how in the hell did this happen? And so with this devil energy, that's exactly what you're doing, is understanding yourself better. And so that will influence you as you go forward. It's also breaking free of old habits, old patterns, things that you don't serve you anymore. And you might find too, even meeting new people that you'll know exactly who you feel like you click with and who you say, you know what, that feels familiar and I don't think I want more of that. And so with this Ace of Cups, you have this beautiful beginning and I feel like it's tied to a release. It's like seeing things for what they are, letting go of them and opening yourself up wide. You have cards of spring and summer coming in here. So I definitely feel like you're going to have a tipping point and even airy season may be significant for you. But with this Ace of Cups, it really is having your heart light turned on 
feeling good about things and feeling safe wherever you go. Because I get this feeling of like, you know, people's words can create an, a, an unsafe feeling because you just don't know who you can trust in that. So with this Five of Swords, I just don't see you sticking around to be involved in any kind of situation or conversation that could stir up drama. All right, so if you know who this is, or even it's done sort of a number where you find yourself replaying conversations, you know how that is the conversation we actually had, the conversation we plan out having in the future and the one we never had. It's like that kind of thing. So I do feel like with this Five of Swords, you're going to be breaking free of that. Now, the Knight of Wands comes in handy because if you do have something in terms of work, he's your knight in shining armor. He loves to get stuff done. So I get it with a, a person you're attracting to. You know, when I mentioned they like to do tedious things for you and it's like, God, this is great. But I also get it too. If you have a coworker who leaves and it, it's not going to leave a hole, you're going to have some kind of restructuring or perhaps even if you get moved to another department, you are going to be like, giddy up, get, let me over there. I cannot wait to go there. There's something about this energy. It, it feels like it's at work that makes things move forward easily. So good things are coming in there for sure. Let's see now, Aquarius, what the angels want to chime in here. <clears throat> All right, what else does Aquarius need to know? Guidance, please, for Aquarius. It's up to you. Let it all begin with you. So releasing, meditating, very powerful cycle with all these major arcana. Ask your angels because they're trying to communicate with you. Even sometimes the simplest exchanges can be signs, recovery. So if somebody did a number on you, I feel like you're coming back better than ever and you've learned something. Perfect timing, they say, and we've got a yes. Good things are on the way, Aquarius. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.